this is the chapter fraction and this is introduction class of fraction so let us start from meaning of fraction what do you mean by fraction a fraction means a part of a whole or it is one mathematical expression which is written in this form p by q or the numerator upon denominator where the numerator and denominator are whole numbers but the denominator should not be equal to 0 so this is the general form of a fraction now these are some more examples of fractions 5 upon 4 that means out of four equal parts if you are taking five parts 1 by 2 simply we are saying half that means out of two equal parts if you are taking one part 3 upon 2 when you are taking when you are making two parts two equal parts and taking three parts 7 upon 8 or 7 by 8 out of eight equal parts if you are taking seven parts now are you observing here some numerators are greater and some denominators are greater what do you mean these are the different types of fractions let us discuss different types of fractions fractions may be proper improper or mixed proper fraction how many parts we are making if we are taking less number of parts that is a proper fraction that means here the denominator part is greater than the numerator part improper fraction here are you observing the denominator part is less than the numerator and when we are making four parts here when we are taking the greater part that means it is more than a whole number it is more than one always an improper fraction is always more than one but a proper fraction is always less than one or less than a whole number that is one and a mixed fraction mixed fraction means when a whole number is mixed with a proper fraction these are the three types of fractions but the improper fraction can be converted into mixed fraction and the mixed fraction can be converted into improper fraction let us discuss now how we can convert the improper fraction into mixed fraction as we know that a fraction is written in this form numerator upon denominator now let us divide the numerator part by denominator part after divide after dividing we are getting quotient and the remainder. Let us write now in this form so that the quotient part is the whole part and the numerator is the what we are getting the remainder and denominator is the same denominator. Now, let us take one example. Improper means the numerator is greater than the denominator. 20 upon 6. The numerator is greater than denominator. Now, let us divide 20 by 6. Here 6 Caesar 18. We are getting the remainder. 2. Now, this is the whole part. This is the numerator part and this is the denominator part. Now, let us write 3 whole 2 divided by 6 or 2 upon 6. This is the form of mixed fraction. Now, Converting a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. This is the form of mixed fraction. Now, to convert the mixed into improper, we have to simply get one numerator and denominator. So, to get the numerator part, 
we have to multiply the denominator with whole the resulting number we have to add with the numerator and what we are getting the resulting number becomes the numerator part of the improper fraction and the denominator is the simple denominator now this is the conversion of mixed fraction into improper fraction now let us take one example two whole 3 upon 5 now we have to multiply 5 into 2 5 into 2 and 3 is added the numerator is added upon 5 denominator will be the same denominator that is equal to 5 to the 10 plus 3 13 upon 5 this is the converting mixed fraction into improper fraction now equivalent fractions what do you mean by equivalent fractions equivalent fractions are the fractions that have the different numerator and denominator but have the same value here these are the examples when we are making two parts two equal parts you are taking one part out of four equal parts if you are taking two parts out of six equal parts if you are taking three parts out of eight equal parts if you are taking four parts all are same all the values are same but here the numerator and denominators are different so these type of fractions are called equivalent fractions now How to get equivalent fractions or the finding of equivalent fractions to find an equivalent fraction what do you have to do multiply both the numerator and denominator with the same number this is one example suppose we have written half one is the numerator two is the denominator let us multiply two with both the denominator and numerator we are getting two by four now one by two or half is equal to two by four just like we can multiply again the numerator and denominator with 2. Now we can multiply 3 also, 4 also, any number. <clears throat> but what we are multiplying with the numerator, the same number we have to multiply with the denominator to get the equivalent fractions. Now like and unlike fractions. What do you mean like and unlike fractions? Here, are you observing? Some fractions are there. Here, all those fractions the numerator are different but the denominators are same these type of fractions are called like fractions and here all those denominators are different so these type of fractions are called unlike fractions unit fractions what do you mean by unit fraction unit fraction means all the fractions with one as numerator. One is the numerator part. Here, one upon three, one is the numerator. One by four, one is the numerator part. One by six, one is the numerator part. One by eight, one is the numerator part. All those fractions are having one as the numerator part. So, all these type of fractions are called unit fractions. Whatever may be the denominator, but the numerator should be one. That means how many parts we are making that doesn't matter. But out of those equal parts, you have to take only one part. Those fractions are called unit fractions. Hope everyone understood the concept of fraction. Keep watching. Keep learning. Thank you.